He's old, Luna. You can't. No empieces. Déjalo en paz. Or I'm only going to let one of you in here. Don't you wink at me, girl. Oh, I love you. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be testing out and reviewing a new concealer from the drugstore, which I am super excited about. This is Wet n Wild Incognito Mega Last Incognito Concealers. They retail for $4.99, so five US dollars, and you can find them in 21 different shades. I have two of the shades right here. This one is medium golden, and this one is medium neutral. This is what they look like swatched. This one, of course, is the deeper of the two, being medium golden and medium neutral. I think, I think I'm gonna have to mix them. Now this is supposed to be a long lasting medium to full coverage concealer so you can build it up in order to get better coverage. It has a matte finish but it has hydrating ingredients such as shea butter, licorice, root extract, and it also has mango seed butter. So those things are going to help hydrate the under eye area but the formula is meant to be matte. That sounds like a very interesting combination and hopefully it allows us to not look so dry underneath the eyes. As far as how I'm going to test this concealer out, I'm going to be wearing it alongside my Beauty Pie color corrector. This one is in the shade medium to deep. It is what I'm going to start using from now on instead of, like I still have the Becca corrector, but I figured that I should probably stop using that in videos because we're not going to have access to it here soon, right? So I'm gonna start transitioning over to using this one or one of my other concealers or correctors. Since this has a matte finish, I figured that pairing it with the Beauty Pie corrector, which is pretty much the exact same thing as my Becca Under Eye Brighten corrector, would be a good choice. Now that they've dried down, that is what they look like. And uh, yeah, that's a little too deep. That's a little too light. I'm gonna have to mix a little bit of this into that in order to get a better shade underneath the eyes. Because if I go with the really light one, my under eye area is just gonna look gray. If I go with the really deep one, it's not gonna look great. So gonna have to mix them up. So let's get started. So I'm only gonna be wearing the corrector underneath my right side, underneath my right under eye area, just to give us an idea of how much coverage this concealer truly provides and whether or not it needs the help of a corrector in order to fully conceal. All right, corrector is on. Let me apply foundation and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, foundation is on. Let's get to concealing. As far as how to, I did read through the website and they do recommend that you draw a triangle underneath your eyes with the concealer in order to conceal the under eye area. But I don't do that anymore because I feel like you use too much product that you just don't need to, you know? You don't need to use that much in order to conceal. So I'm gonna start off with the lighter of the two shades that I have, this one's medium neutral just applying a little bit right here and a little here. And then I'm gonna take medium golden, which is the deeper one, and just apply a little bit of that on top, not too, too much. And I'm gonna blend it out with my deluxe crease brush from Real Techniques. Let's see what we get. Oh yeah. I really like this brush for the under eye area because it's super dense. And so it doesn't take much of the product. It doesn't absorb it. It just blends it out for you so you don't have to use as much. All right, so there's just the one light layer. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more here along the inner corner of the under eye area. So just like that, I'm gonna blend it here along the darker area underneath my eye. All right, so the right side is done. I would say for the most part, it's pretty concealed, right? Pretty concealed underneath the eye. Let's see how much coverage we get over here. So again, just right here, and then a little here, and a little bit of the deeper shade on top. So I'm just blending this out. All right, so there's one layer. You can clearly see the difference, not as concealed as this side. 
So let's go ahead and apply a little bit more over here. And again, we're just gonna concentrate the additional product here along the darkest area under my eye. Whenever I was applying more concealer before, I used to apply it onto the entire under eye area, not just the spots that needed it. And I feel like that will lead you, or I don't feel like, I usually ended up with too much product underneath the eyes, which would settle into my fine lines and all that great stuff. So if you do feel like you need to add more concealer after you've already blended out one layer underneath your eye, I recommend that you do so, but only to the areas that really need it, which for me happens to be, and I feel like for most people, right, happens to be the inner corner, but not all the way up to the eye, just like right here. That lessens the amount of product that you're using and it'll ultimately help prevent the settling into the fine lines or much settling since you're not using a whole lot um, and bringing it all the way up unnecessarily you know all right now let's blend this out all right so the two sides are concealed i would say this one obviously it's looking a little bit better than this one as far as coverage for obvious reasons but this side doesn't look too bad i feel like i'm still getting pretty good coverage i would definitely call this more medium coverage even though i did build it up on me two layers it's still i would still consider it medium coverage over here definitely more full i am noticing that the product is trying to settle into my fine lines so i think i'm going to or i don't think i'm going to set it lightly with my shape tape powder i really love this setting powder for the under eye area i wasn't sure if i would like it a whole lot or not when i ordered it but I've been reaching for this more often than not because it does set my concealer without making it look too dry. That's a huge issue, okay? So I'm taking my soft blend brush from Sigma Beauty. This is their 50 brush, number 50 brush. Just taking a little bit of that and setting the under eye area. All right, same on the other side. All right, so there it is. Concealer is done, set, ready to go. So now let me zoom you guys in so that you can get a better look under the eyes after initial application. All right, so there it is. Uh, definitely getting more coverage over here than I am over here for obvious reasons, but it looks nice. It looks pretty good underneath the eyes. All right, so let me jump off camera one last time, finish the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. All right, I am back, makeup is done. I'm ready to continue on with my day. It is currently 12.01. I am gonna be coming back at around four o'clock to do a quick midday check-in with natural lighting. So far, this looks really nice underneath the eyes. It's moving with my skin. It doesn't look like it's just sitting on top of it. it it's just, it looks nice and hydrated. It obviously doesn't look like skin, but it doesn't look like heavy, under eye makeup, you know what I mean? I really like it. So far, so good, but we just got started. So anyway, I'll see you guys back here in a few hours for my midday check-in. All right, so I am back for a quick midday check-in. It is 4.09, um, so I've had this on for four hours. This is the side with the color corrector, and this is the side without the color corrector. The concealer looks pretty good am i right or am i wrong what do you guys think i think it looks pretty good considering that it's a matte formula and that i said it it doesn't look excessively dry underneath the eyes it doesn't look like it's like cracked or broken up like some matte concealers tend to do like once they've been worn for a little while they just they don't look as smooth and as nice this one is not doing that at all it feels lightweight, so the concealer doesn't feel heavy or like too much under the eyes, even though I did apply two layers. I was kind of expecting for this to move around a little bit, but it has not moved around at all. I'm gonna wear it for about another four hours, so I'll finish off the day at around eight o'clock to call it a full day. And yeah, we'll see, we'll see what the under eye area looks like at that point. So I will see you guys back here in four more hours for my final check-in. 
All right, I am back for my final check-in. It is currently 8.11, so I've had this concealer on for a full eight hours. The day has completely flown by, um, and yeah, I, I'm ready to wash this off. But of course, before I do, had to come back, show you guys some close-ups, and just talk to you about how the concealer wore throughout the day, what are my final thoughts on it, that kind of thing. So now let me zoom you guys in before we go over all of that. All right, so this is the concealer after wearing it for the entire day. This is the color corrected side. This is the non color corrected side. I feel like I got really good coverage, better coverage with a color corrector for sure. Um, and I do feel, I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like the concealer wore off just a tiny little bit. And I think that I I don't know if I like the shade that I created with the two concealers that I got, the two different shades. Um, but overall, as far as the formula, if we're talking just strictly formula, it looks pretty nice. It still looks pretty nice underneath the eyes after wearing it the entire day. All right, so now that you've seen the under eye area up close, I can get into what I think about this concealer. I like it. I like the way that it wears. I like that it's super lightweight. I like that it's a matte formula, but it doesn't look excessively dry even after I've set it. I set it at the beginning of the day. Here we are eight hours later and it does not look dry whatsoever. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't look cakey. I added two layers to each side and it just, it wears really well. The only thing, like I said, the shade is just not something that I'm super jazzed about. So I might order a couple of different additional shades to see if I can find like the right one because I do really like the formula. Perhaps it did wear off a little bit throughout the day now that I'm looking looking at myself and when I was looking at myself up close, I think it may have, but if it did, it's not by much. It's not enough for me to truly notice and take note of. Um, so overall, good concealer, nice and affordable, 21 shades, although it doesn't seem like a whole lot, is quite a bit for a drugstore brand. Um, and at $5 each, I'd say this one is definitely a win. So that completes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's product review and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. And also don't forget to follow me over on Instagram where I absolutely love to interact with you guys. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.